Man, I just wish Notion had charts. I wish I had a chart. Lucky for you, we have charts. Here, on my YouTube channel in approximately, I don't know, 30 seconds? We'll see how the edit goes. By simply going to notion2charts.com, which you can see has some pretty cool charts here. What we can do is get started for free and quickly and easily create charts inside of Notion. So I'm just gonna quickly go in here and sign in and then connect to my Notion account. Now, what workspace would I like to use? Hmm. I think personally that I would like to pick my running log that I can find inside of here and is tracked utilizing my Strava data, but this can be used for pretty much any database. It just has to make sense here. So if I go to create chart, I can pick a different chart based on my preferences. So let's click on a line chart and then we're gonna search databases and it's just gonna have what you selected in there. So I could have selected like my entire workspace as well, but instead I just selected one to make it easier on finding stuff for me. So then we can pick what is the x-axis and what is the y-axis. All right, so for the x-axis, that's gonna be like a over time sort of thing. So I'd recommend you pick the uh, day for like a line or a bar chart and the y, I'm gonna pick miles for the y-axis and then press create chart. And then boom, check this out. So we have this pretty quickly made and you can also change this at any point in time miles, meters, whatever you want. Now what you have to do is make sure that the number that you're picking is actually a number. Cause if I change this to like a text item here, it's just gonna get rid of the graph. So make sure that it's actually accurate here. So you'll see that since it's Monday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, all these different days, this is essentially just aggregating all the different miles that I have for that day of the week. But what I would rather do is adjust this to being based on the month. So I'm gonna just change this and add another property to February. Then I'm going to refresh this in here and change this to being month. As you can see, it did it pretty much in real time. All right, now from a sorting standpoint, I wanna sort it by month here. However, it doesn't seem like this is going in order. So the way that you could do that is maybe do something like this. Let's do another format for the date. And then let's do like the month number which can pretty much be done via this. And then I'm gonna do another plus for a little bit of a concatenation. All right, so now we have a month. It's done in order like that. So let's uh, refresh this guy. And you'll notice when I redo this, that now kind of goes in order of the actual numbers. All right, and if we wanted to as well, we could add a filter so that the date is current year. And then from there, it should only show the last month or so. Ah, yep, I only did this. <laughs> I only ran recently, so we might have to fix that filter. Let's change it to edit is last 12 months, which is pretty cool. And you can adjust this however you'd like, uh, whether it be for changing the chart type, making a myriad of different ones here, you know, we simply can just take this guy after it's created though and go into this and create an embed which showcases the chart. Whee. But for me personally, upon further review and thinking, I'd rather have it so that it's by the day and I'm gonna pick the date property. All right, and then I'm gonna select filters again and I'm gonna make it a little bit more active so it's the current week or even better, let's do like the last seven days. So I get a bit of a view on this and then I could sort it by the date so that we make sure that it's going in order by the day of the week. And then I can get this embed link. And from here, once again, create this little embed, clear out the previous guy. And then from here, if we click on that. I can match it to the colors. Ooh, <laughs> the pretty colors. And not only that, but if I change any of the colors within here, like making it so that the single color here is actually blue, because I think that would look a little bit better. Ooh, I could press the refresh button in here, and it will actually sync it without me needing to go and re-embed this. So I can get a little bit of a chart view of what I got going on day over day in the week, hover over, I can see that I started at 1.5 miles and went to six, which is pretty darn cool. And that would be inclusive of if I completely changed the chart and pressed a update here, it would completely update this, which is pretty dang cool. And it would show that like in this week, I did seven and a half miles, which I don't really wanna do. I'd rather keep it as something like a bar or a line chart. So I'm gonna do that again and then press refresh. But as you can see, you can do this with pretty much any set of data in chartbase.so, good old notion to charts. Love the way that this works, pretty simple overall. And if you are interested in getting this product, 
Uh, the account, you can see here, if we update to pro, allows us to have unlimited charts and remove some of that branding. Whereas for $9 per month, you get the ability to retrieve up to 5,000 rows per chart from your Notion database, as it is a little bit limited on the free and pro plans. And you get more in-depth multi-column charts for deeper insights and comparisons. So I like this overall and would be interested in adding it to my workspaces as it does give a nice little data viz of everything going on because uh, overall, it's hard to look at stuff in a table, right? And I know a lot of us use these databases pretty much in the same way that we use, you know, Google Sheets and pivot tables to go along with them, but there's not really a great option for this. So if you're interested, I definitely recommend checking it out. Notion2charts.com or Chartbase. You have multiple different pricing options to choose from. So check it out today for more info. And check out content like this video on how to improve your skills using Notion even more.